Thank you very much, everyone. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Carl Bia. I'll be your presenter in this morning. I will bless you here with us. Uh, fortnight ago, we just did a section one, then we did a little lesson. So today, I'll just give you the session two of it. So I'll quickly share my screen. You confirm if you can see my screen. Just by raising your hand. So can you please see my screen? So if if yes, then please uh, raise your hand so that uh, I will know that you can see my screen. Okay. All right, that is fine. Thank you. So quickly, um, just let's let's look at today's agenda. What what we have on today's agenda. Um, so for today's agenda, we look at uh, session two of Microsoft Teams. Fortnight ago, we did. Uh, fortnight ago, we did uh, section one. So, so today we look at the section two. So as part of the session two, we just do a meeting. So under the meeting, we just look at how we can do an instant meeting. We we'll look at you know and and and. Or we just look at why what you should do at an instant meeting. And then we also look at the, the schedule of meeting. We just look at how we manage the team's calendar. We look at various ways we can also join the meeting. And then we also look at there's a new functionality in Microsoft Teams, so that's a data group. So we also look at that and, and, and let's see uh, when when we should also use the breakout rooms in, in Microsoft Teams. We just look at the sharing of contacts and the type of uh, meetings that we can fit. So that is a live event and also a webinar. And also as a key component of, of Microsoft Teams is the, the apps and services. So we just delve into various apps and services. Uh, at least um, we can be very effective if, if we have all the tools are available at, the, at one place. So that is where the apps and services uh, comes in. So we just look at when we use the apps and also the rules and uh, apps that are available in Microsoft Teams. So we're saying that we just look at our demo lab. So I'll quickly switch to my demo lab. Um, just, to, just to note that um, while the demo is, is ongoing, if you have any question, you can raise your hand. I will just allow your mic or I will allow your mic to speak, or you can also type your, your question in the chat box. Okay, so quickly let me let's go into my demo lab. So I'll quickly go into my demo lab, and then I'll just open my Microsoft Teams. Okay, all right, so. So fortnight ago, we, we, we did, as I said, we did, we did some of the aspects of Microsoft Teams. So we looked at the, the charts. So we made mention of the various, uh, of the various charts and features that are available in Microsoft Teams. And then we also, we also did the, the, the Teams, so, so how you be able to collaborate. So that is wherever you can create various Teams. So that so that we can come together and just work on a particular or we can just come together and also work. And then we so and then we also look at the, the real sports section. So how we be able to manage a course in Microsoft Teams. So for today's section, just look at the meeting. So if you are doing a meeting, so in, in Microsoft Teams uh, schedule a meeting, this is the calendar. So anything regarding um, regarding meetings, then then what you go or where where you go is the is the calendar section. So on my teams, so on my teams um, on my teams app, I will see that on my left hand side I have the calendar. So anything regarding calendar that will be done, anything regarding meeting that will be done under the calendar section. So under the calendar section, um, you can see the if if you have any 
if you are spreading even within at all, you see it under the you see it under the day you know, to describe that 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 meeting. So you just look at um why 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 the schedule and instant meeting. So there can be a, a, a situation where that you need to schedule a, a this meeting with your colleague. So let's say for instance I am working on a particular document and that document prepare and input for my colleague. So before as we, before I send out that particular document, I need to schedule a meeting with the person. So because it is just a impromptu thing that I want to do with my colleague, then what you do is that you schedule an impromptu meeting. So you see that on my calendar section, I will see a meet now. So meet now um, gives you that flexibility to, to schedule an instant meeting. So what I will do is that I will schedule an instant meeting. Okay, so let's see an instant meeting quickly. So I will start um, that meeting. So I am starting uh, I'm starting an, an instant meeting right now, quickly. So I will just start. Okay. So because the because the meeting is an instant meeting, that I uh, that I want to schedule. Then after I schedule, so I have that option to copy the meeting link, or I can add um, my colleague on board. So I will just add my colleague just quickly. Let me add it just quickly. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So let me quickly add it. Okay. So you see, um, I'm trying to call it up so that you can view and so that you can schedule at this time. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, I'm trying to call it up. Okay, so I am now in a meeting with I am now in a meeting with, with my colleague over here. So if you see that instantly, I'm able to uh, I'm able to schedule a, a meeting or I'm able to schedule a, a meeting with my colleague in a, Now while I am on a call with, with him, okay, I have that option to share my screen. Okay, so I have that option here to share my screen with him. Or because the, the purpose of this meeting is that we just work on a particular document. So what what I will do is that I will I will quickly open a document so that we see how we able to work on it. Okay, uh, so let me quickly upload a document and see how we are able to work on that particular document together. So let me just pick uh, a particular document. Okay. Okay, so let me quickly upload that document here. Alright, so I have that so let me quickly sign it. So I'll just upload it and send And then we we'll just uh, work away from it. But this one just gives us gives us that opportunity that okay, so if so, so that if someone is not in the, in the office, at least you can you can you should be able to get to the person and just schedule and, and just schedule just schedule a uh, instant meeting. Or like or like you schedule a uh, uh, a meeting days ahead, but with that instant meeting it just comes up as a in a form of emergency. So if 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 I'm if I want to have an emergency meeting or if I want to have an impromptu meeting, it's a summer. So let's see, there's a particular document that I want Edmond to also look at it. I can just have, I can just talk to Edmond, okay, there's this particular document that I want to look at it for me. I can just schedule um, an instant meeting with him. Well, I'll just open the document with him. Then we just have a look at it. If, if, if it is okay, then, then I can just send back. If there's also any other inputs that you also want to make, then the click can also make. So you see, that um, Uber, you see that the, you are seeing an uh, Uber's icon, okay? So Uber will try and type something in it. Okay, so this is me working together on a particular document. Yeah. Okay, so so quickly, if there's any input that Uber want to make on this particular document, then you can just type it, you know, type whatever input that uh, 
้องสุขิดาโอเคเออสูสว่าว่าดีไซน์เนี่ยอาจจะใช้เออเป็นไอคอนนะสูเรสไอคอนโอเคสูว่าสูเรสไอคอนนี่คือแบบที่สปอร์ตของที่สปอร์ตของเราเป็นคุณภาพสูงอีกเทปเราเอาตัวสูงฟอร์ดี้ไฟแบบนี้นะนั่นคือแบบที่สูเรสไอคอนสูอาสปาร์ตของเนี่ยอินสตาน์ที่มีที่นั่นที่เราสูงอีกแบบที่สูเรสไอคอนนั่นคือแบบที่สูเรสไอคอนสูอาสปาร์ตของเนี่ยอินสตาน์ที่มีที่นั่นที่เราสูงอีกแบบที่สูเรสไอคอนนั่นคือแบบที่สูเรสไอคอนสูอาสปาร์ตของเนี่ยอินสตาน์ที่มี So note that because this is because you are doing a collaboration, so if I am working together on a document, automatically the document gets saved. So why so this this um, the the input that can be made by the automatic document is saved. So there is no need for me to uh, save it again. I will just use that particular document, and then I can just go back again and just again access that document, and I will see the input. That was made by Uber. Okay, so let me quickly open the document again so that we see the input that was made by Uber. Okay, so while it is loading, okay, so it is it is loading. Then while okay, good. All right. So now that so. So as 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 you can see now, so the document automatically goes safe. So I didn't need to do any any save on that. No. So once so so once I I open it, I will see that the document is automatically saved. And then there is a catch up option here. So on my document, because the document is in Teams, I can look at it. This is a catch up option there that is on my. Um, top right, okay. So I can see a cutter option here, and that a cutter option gives me the activity that was done on this particular document. Okay. Yeah. So if you talk that, so a typical use case would be that um, your boss is in town and you are working on a one-page document and quickly need him to approve or check uh, it for appropriateness. All you do is you do that emergency meeting. You share the document you are working on, and uh, instantly within 10 to 20 minutes, your boss can input whatever comments you want to do or whatever changes, and uh, you are good to go. Basically. All right, thank you. Yes, so that is yes, so that is so that is yes, that comment aspect. Okay, so now. So what? So now that I am done with uh, with the call with Uber, okay. So so I mean everything is fine. Then there's there's nothing more you know to be done. I can also have that flexibility to also share my screen with you, so that if there's anything or or if there's any support, so let's see. And uh, those who are in a typical environment where they need um maybe support from 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 the IT team or or for someone, so. Instead of me using a third party team to a third party to go access to, directly you can trigger an instant um, an instant message with uh, with a person, and then you can share your screen. So you see, as part of the option here, there's a share content. So I'll share my screen. I'll, I'll quickly share my screen with Uber, and then Uber will just pick something, or Uber can just. Okay, so I've shared my screen with the team, and then I have that option to give control. Okay, so before Uber can can access my PC, I need to give a uh, control to him. So I'll quickly give, I'll quickly assign, uh, I'll quickly give control to Uber. So you see that there's a give control. So I'll give control to Uber. So now you see an uh, Uber mouse uh, moving around. My PC, so it can go to my desktop, make any changes on it, or if I need, if there's any issue, you know that I want a Uber to resolve for me quickly, I can I can let it do that for me. So so this one also gives you that flexibility to also seek for support. So so if let's say IT is not in the office, it doesn't mean that IT cannot support, but they can be at home. You know, if if there's an active internet connection, you can trigger uh, an instant uh, chat or instant meeting with you. And then you share your screen with, with, with the person, and then the person can take over and just and just also that you should have support that also need. Okay, so these are the various scenarios that we use if we want to uh, 
you want to figure out a stance in person. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm told there's a question. Let me pick up the question. Let me look at the question. Okay. Say, okay, so Mr. Fredpra is saying, I see you share a file from the document folder on Teams and it worked on. Would the file in the document of me also show the changes? Okay, so um, so that's that particular folder, that, that particular document folder, uh, it will only show the changes. See, that's a uh, that's, uh, folder is in your one drive. Okay, so if I have that folder in my one drive, then it will also show the changes. Okay. Okay, so I'll just move on. If there is any further question, I can also post it in the chat. Okay, all right. If you let me move on to my demo one. So I'll end my call with Uber. And then we'd also look at the various meetings option that you can also take as well. Okay, so Uber, thank you. I'll stop my sharing with you. I'll come back to you again. So just be on standby. Okay, so um, just like how demonstrated, maybe you need support from IT. You're on the phone, you are describing what your screen is, and it's taking 30 minutes to just do it. You can do Head on team, even giving control to your uh, machine, and whatever you need could be done in a shorter time, which increases productivity. Yeah, so how? Yes, okay, great, thanks. Okay, all right. So that is one aspect of the meeting that, uh, that, you, can, that you can create. Okay, so there is also another form of meeting. So in our new meeting, so we have three types of, of, of in fact, there are three types of, of, of meeting that's available. And depending on your office, this is what SKU. So that is where you get the third option. So we have one, a scheduled meeting, so that's a normal meeting. And then you have the webinar, so the webinar is a, is a normal meeting plus advanced features. Okay, then there's also a, a live event, so if you are targeting a very huge audience, then that is why we do a live event. But as I said, the, the live events uh, we are able to do based on your SKD. So those those that be on your office 365 and um, business or the M365 business you know, do not have that luxury to do a, a live event. Okay. But uh, but those who are on the enterprise edition, they have that luxury to to, to, you know, to have that uh, live a live event uh, feature. So the account that I'm using is a business union account. So that account doesn't have uh, a live event feature. So if I switch to my personal account, for instance, which is an, an enterprise account, you uh, I will see the live event feature there. Okay, so that we will be sure of it. So you see that um, on my personal account, which is an, an enterprise license account. It has all the features, so it has a, a live event. So maybe probably if maybe you want to test out the, the, the live event and the you know, please note that it is because of your office this is like SQ. Alright. Okay, good. So the as I said, so the three types for the meeting. Okay, so so one is the they schedule a meeting, so that's a normal meeting that they want to schedule with the colleague or with, with also your, your, your distant partners. And then if you want the advanced feature, so the advanced feature, that is if you want to require registration, then, then that is when you use the webinar option. And, and in the tour of public, uh, at first, at first before or at first meeting can take up to 300 people or 300 attendees. But because of, of, of COVID and now, uh, because now people are, are working remotely, Microsoft has extended that functionality. So now you can have a meeting up to thousand people. Okay, so if, if you want to set a meeting and, and then you're expecting an attendee of about thousand people, then 
you should rest assured that uh, if there's study meeting or if the red man you can schedule a meeting with up to thousand people. But if your if your expectation is, is, is more than thousand, then that is where you then go for the night event. Okay, so let me pick uh, a quick meeting. So I will use uh, this scheduling meeting to also demonstrate uh, various features that uh, I made mention in my content. So in my content, let me quickly bring up my content so that we are, we are on the same page. So in my content, I will use the, the scheduling meeting to also look at how you will be able to use the breakout rooms, okay, how you will be able to record uh, a meeting. So I will I will use um, I will use that uh, I will use that uh, scheduling meeting to also cover them. Okay. So let me create uh, a meeting and let's see what what happens. Okay. So I'm creating a test meeting. Yeah. All right. So on my meeting, I have various different categories. So you can also and also do that if you want to categorize your, your, your meeting by colors, then that is something that we can also do. So probably in your environment, maybe uh, where, where the category may, may mean that you want to schedule or you want to have a management meeting. So that is when that is when we use uh, we call it. So so that is when you can also uh, you know identify them by using this one. Categories there. Okay, then there's the response option here. Okay, so that is if you want to allow for um, request, or if you want to allow, if you want to request for responses, then there's also that option there available for you. And then I don't want uh, someone to also forward this 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 meeting. In. Then that is, I'll just check the forwarding. Now, once I check the forwarding and then I create that meeting, that, that meeting should not be forwarded to, to a third party. All right. Now, let's see something here. There's require registration. That is none. Now, if I want to require for registration and then I change it, okay, then let's see uh, what will happen. Okay. So I get a, a warning message here. Okay, we say that you want to register, you want your attendees to, 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 to register. Now, if I turn it on, then automatically it turn that meeting to a webinar. So, so, so if I turn it on, then automatically this, the, the meeting that I'm creating becomes a webinar. Okay, so I'll quickly do that. Then I'll just add my attendees to the meeting. Okay, I will just add my attendees to it. Okay, so the fact that I'm adding attendees within my within my organization doesn't also mean that I cannot also invite external parties. So if I have external party that uh, I want to also invite them, then I, then I can just type the email address okay of the person. So I can just quickly type the email address. Okay, so. I want to invite uh, this account. Okay, so quickly. So, so, so it doesn't mean that you can create a, a meeting within 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 your organization, but you can also uh, schedule a meeting with external parties. Okay, all right. Then there's option. There's an there is so so currently where what I'm doing now is, is is I am adding a required attendee so that is those that they are they are required to be part of the meeting. Okay, so let me quickly um, add about one more. Okay, 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 good, good. And then what I'll do is that then I can then use the optional here to also add uh, optional. Okay, so there's a question. I will just pause and pick up the question. Okay, so Joseph, is there a particular license to use to be able to take control over someone's screen? Okay, uh, no, there's no license. In fact, all basic Microsoft's uh, basic license does not require you to 
or does not uh, require you to. So the, you don't you don't need or you don't need a, a license to. Yes, uh -huh. but then there is a but. <laughs> the the but is that um, there is how do you call it? Um, the but is that because of security controls. So normally by default, um, by default control is disabled. So if in your if in your environment, and then you, you think that uh, you think that well, because probably most most people work remotely, then you want to enable that feature. That that is something that uh, you can do. But because of a security control, that option is disabled by by some default. Okay. So, Joseph, I hope I'm able to answer your question. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me just add an optional person. So, so the optional is, is is that you do the person is not required to be in the in the meeting. Okay. So because of my time, that is, I'll just schedule my meeting for ten thirty-five. Okay. Yeah, so ten thirty-five. To, to 11, that is fine with me. Okay, and then that is that is that. Now, as part of creation or a part of creating a meeting, you see there is a, a rare, rare occurrence. Now, if you want to repeat this meeting for a number of days, then that is something that you can do. So that means that I want to repeat this meeting every Friday or that is every every week. That is. Monday to Friday from 10.35 to, to 11 a.m. I want, I want this meeting to, to also be okay. Then you can also do a custom. So the custom is that I want this meeting to start, uh, let's say today, but it should end on, on, on public, it should end on Tuesday, that is next week Tuesday. So that is something that you can do. So that means that you should, you should repeat itself every day until, and to the Tuesday, which is the 5th of October. Okay, so that is something that you can do. So you can do a custom repetition. So the fact that there is a repetition that can be done, you can also do a custom repetition. So I'll cancel that option as well. And then I'll just I'll just type a, a detail. So, so 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 the details is where you just give you, you just state the a brief uh, overview of what the the meeting is. So if if you want to just state a brief uh, overview of, of what the meeting is, that that is something that uh, you can also do. So in my test, yeah, I can just say that this is a test meeting, so that those that I am I am inviting, they would know that this is a test meeting. I will talk about the channel later. Um, so that is something that you can also take. Uh, you can you see that there's a channel here. Now, a uh, fortnight ago, we, we we made mention of teams when we were talking about teams. That is creation of teams. We made mention of channel. So I made mention that channel as sub a conversation that you can you can have in a meeting or in a in a meeting. So I will just talk about the channel later on. Okay, so now once I am done with it, I'll just click on send. Okay. And then my notification is gone. Now sometimes people create a meeting and they and they, they want to put that meeting link uh, into an into a this email format. So the fact that I schedule a meeting, even though and um, those that I've invited, they will be they will be notified. But sometimes people also want to have that uh, that meeting link in the form of a, a link, and then send it to the person via, via, via email. So that is something that you can do. So if uh, if I want to do that, then you see that once I double click on that meeting, okay. So I will see the, the there's a meeting option. Now now you can join. So you can use the click here to join the meeting. That's the that's the link to. To join the there the, is a meeting. So what I can do is that it, in order for me to paste it in a very nice format for the person, then I can just do I can just copy the entire thing here. Okay, so I can just copy it here. 
and then I can just go to my email, okay, and then I can just send it via uh, email, okay, then I can just send it via email, okay, to those that they are involved, so I just type and all that, and then I'll just do a paste, okay, so I can just do a paste here, so I'll just paste it, okay, so let me quickly just, let me paste Okay, let me paste this this meeting quickly. Okay, so let me quickly copy this one. All right, and go to my. Okay, let me discard this one. Okay, so let me quickly um, type in a new email, for instance, and just paste it. Then at least you know I get a very nice format. So this way I can I can have you know something like this. Yeah, just type in my 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 email or just type their email and just let them know that they should find below the the, the there's a meeting invite. So that is something that you know mostly people do. So if you want to have it in a very nice format, then you can just just do the copy just the way it is. And then paste it in my email and just send it to the person or to those that are, are just involved. Okay, so that is quickly that. Let me discard this one. Now go back. So that is just that. So if I want to change the time, then I can also change the time as well and just do the update. So so my my meeting was supposed to start at ten thirty five. But then, because of this thing, so it has changed to let's say twelve, um, to let's say to twelve. Then you can also change the time, and then there's an update here. So you see a send update. So you just click on the send update, and then the the update will be sent, you know, to the person. Okay, so that is one way of creating or, or scheduling a meeting. There is also. Um, another way uh, that you can schedule a meeting within a channel. So we have our own internal meet, uh, teams, okay, that uh, we have our, our internal uh, uh, this group, okay, that we, we do a collaborate together, that is we do share ideas and all that. And then I want to schedule a meeting, okay, then, you know, for that particular team. Then what you do is that you schedule a meeting called um, channel teams and and teams meeting schedule. Okay, so this is I have a, a test team here. So so this test team as 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 members. So in that members, now I want to schedule a meeting. Okay, so I want to schedule a meeting, you know, for for members of my test and uh, group. Or well, let's say yeah, so members of my test group. Okay, so I'll go to my new meeting again. Okay, so I'll go to my new meeting. Okay, so this is for my MICT. So instead of the required uh, attendance, I can come to the channel. So in that channel, then I can just pick the channel here. So you see, when I place the mouse uh, in the channel here, so I'm seeing the name of my group. So if in your environment you have a lot of group, you see all those groups here. So I want to uh, create this this meeting, you know, for these channel members. So I can just um, take, I can just select it, and then select the time. Okay, and then I'll click send. Now note that um, if you schedule a meeting in your channel, you will not get an email notification. So that is something that you should take notice of. They will not get an email notification. However, if they come to their meeting, okay, then they should see the, the meeting link there. Because you are scheduled a meeting for a channel, you will not get a notification. Because I think that is that is a, a problem that I have seen. You now people keep complaining that they, you know, they scheduled a meeting. And then they, they they didn't get any email notification because because you are scheduling a meeting, you know, to your team channel, okay. So you will not get a notification for that. 
So you can see that. Uh, so you can see the the meeting in all this thing in my uh, Teams channel. So this is my Teams channel. Yeah. So uh, this is the general. So in my general, I could see the the meeting that I created. So I can click on it and just join. Okay. And then members of that particular uh, this channel can also and create it or can or they, they can also join so those that they are members of that particular channel they can also join that particular uh, meeting so that is also another way that you can also create a, a meeting okay yeah. now let's see the the last option so that is a, a webinar so if you are looking at, at a more control, so that is uh, you want to have a control over your meeting. Now, probably you want to have a, a meeting with, with external parties or, or you want to have a meeting with your partners. So mostly your partners are not, in, uh, and they are not in your organization. They are considered as, as external parties. So if I want to have a, a meeting with them, because, uh, because you want it to be very organized. So very organized here means that you want to control when someone should speak, when someone you know, should also not speak. You want to control and 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 when someone would how do you call it, when someone would also share their screen or someone would also share their content. And then you also want to control the fact that you don't want people to be turning on their video. So if you want that control and uh, mechanized uh, teams meeting, then the right option for you to do is to use the webinar. So with the webinar, for instance, is the same as a scheduled meeting, right? But this one has more advanced controls. So yeah, I am looking for, for, for advanced way of, of controlling my, my this meeting. That is when you have the webinar here. Now, because in that webinar you want you want people to also register. So as part of recreating this uh, this Turkey Friday, you know, you could realize that before before we started this meeting, there was a registration form that was sent out. Okay, so 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 every member uh, of, so those that we send the invitation to, they were giving or they have to register. So there is a registration form here. Now you can see that, so this is the registration form. Okay, so this is a partners, okay, registration form. Okay, all right, so this is, uh, then I'll set the time of the meeting to, let's say 10.50. Okay, so let me do 10.50 as the time of the meeting. Okay, let me quickly change. Okay. Okay, let me quickly do this one. Yeah, sorry, this is PM. Let me do AM. Okay. Okay, so let me quickly do this quickly. And then, um, all right, so 11 AM. Okay, let me pick 11 AM quickly. Okay. So I'll just pick it up and then so as part of the registration form, you can also upload uh, this an image or you can also add. So I have the email and all that. Then if you if you require additional photos, so you can also also add it. Now the city, the state, there's all that. Now I need a phone number so I, I can just do the input. OK, I can just do input and key in phone number and quickly enter the phone number. Okay, so I want the phone number should also be required. Then once I am done with it, okay, I can save the registration form. Then I can just do a preview of it. So I want to just preview how the form would also look like. So per the design that uh, per the design that I have made. So this is how it it just gives me a preview of how the form would 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 look like. Okay, so while it is loading quickly. Okay, so let me just go back to the Teams client while the browser is still loading. So this is how you just see, you see how the how it will, it will look like. Now I want to schedule this one. Okay, quickly. 
Okay, so let me just do a test. Okay, partners meeting. Okay. All right, okay. And then let me add my, so yeah, because it is a schedule or because it is, if you want to control it, then I'll just add my presenters to you. So that is those that if you want them to share our screen and all that. So that is, so that is what uh, it is. So yeah, so the presenters here can be your listeners and speakers. So those that you want them to speak at your meeting. Okay, so I can add one or two people to it. Okay, I can just add um, one or two. All right, okay, quickly, let me just add one or two. All right, and then once I am done with it, okay, so I would copy, because I need the registration form, so I'll copy this form here. Let me quickly copy this registration form. Okay, so I will need this uh, registration form. Then I'll just do a send. So once uh, I do a send, then there should be a uh, notification that keeps, uh, that will pop up. Okay, so I can go to, let me quickly join the meeting. Okay, so Robert, you can join the, the meeting, okay. Okay, so let me quickly join that particular meeting. And because um, now because I have I have done the registration and all that, so I will send the registration by. I will send the registration to my personal account. I will use that personal account to also uh, register. Okay, quickly uh, let me pick a uh, personal account. Chats here. Okay, all right. Let me pick a personal account. So this is a guest. As you can see. Okay, all right. So this is the registration form. Okay, so I'll go to my personal account. So this is my personal account. Yeah. So you see that I am chatting with an with an external descent. So that is something that I can do. So quickly, I will just open it up. Okay. Okay, then I'll just enter my name quickly. Yes, I'll just enter my name, full name. Okay, I'll just enter my name. Just quick, quick, quick. Um, okay, all right, good. Okay, then I'll just key in my, and then I'll, I'll register now. Now, once I register, you see that um, an email will be sent to me. So I can go to my email quickly. Let me go to my Yahoo email and quickly check to see whether an event has been sent to me. Okay. So quickly, let me pick it up here and just refresh it. All right. So, so there it is. So there it is. So once that I have this, then I can add this one to my calendar. So, so it has given the calendar option, or I can join the event. So I'll quickly join the event that is online. Okay, so no, I, I want to join, continue on this browser, because this is a, a, my personal account. So I'll join uh, using my, um, okay, so quickly let me, all right, so I will, I will start our meeting. Okay, good. So I'll join the meeting now. So let me join the meeting now. Then I should receive a notification that people are waiting for them to be added to that particular meeting. Okay, all right. So people are waiting. So I will just admit them. Okay, good. So I'm trying to admit them to it. Okay. So I am admitting them. So that means that what I'm trying to do. So now I am now in the meeting now. Okay. So I have myself. Obed, have you joined? Okay. Please, uh, please join the meeting for me. Okay. Okay. So, so Obed would, would join quickly. And then I will send a request to few others, and then we would I will send a few requests 
Okay, to a few others. Okay, so let me quickly um, send a few requests out. Okay, so let me quickly send a few. Okay, so let me. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so I want to just add uh, two more so that. Uh, Okay, so let me quickly send a request out. Okay, all right. Good. Okay, so now I have my 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 meeting in place with uh, four participants. Okay, so so this is the meeting that we are having. Now I can create various rooms, so I want to divide them into various rooms. So in a typical environment, every department has various units. Okay, so if let's say if if I, if you come to my um, environment, okay, we we have so every uh, so every department has various units. So now we are having a meeting. So I want um, you want to uh, provide a, 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 this, a situation whereby you want them to go and uh, have a small discussion and also come out to you know, to join that uh, that meeting. So what I'll do is that I'll use that option to create a breakout this thing, room. Now, how many rooms uh, do I want to create? Because software department has uh, two units. So if 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 in your case you have you have about three or more units, then you can also add them. Okay, so I have two more uh, this thing and uh, this thing. So I'll create the rooms here. So I'm creating two rooms. So the rooms that I'm creating that I want to Okay, so now, okay, good. So I have uh, rooms here. Now, what what then do I do? So the room is more or less like um, a, let's say, a landlord, for instance. So I'm the landlord of a particular house. So I want to assign um, my tenant to, you know, to this uh, various room. So I would assign me, okay, um, probably. Um, Barbara to uh, room one. Okay. Then I would assign Iravna to room two. Okay. Then I will assign at the, the external, my external account to also room, room two. Then I would also um, assign uh, Uber to room two. Now, when that is done, then I will just assign them. Okay. Yes. So when that is done, I have assigned them. Now the room is not open yet. They've been assigned to this, you know, to everyone's room. Now I have the keys to this room. So if I don't open the room, they cannot enter the room. So that is where we then need to come and uh, we then need to open the room. But before I open the room, there's a certain parameters that I have to set. So if I open my room to you, you can stay. I open my room so just like. A landlord will do. A landlord will rent a room for you for one month, two months, three months, or four months, or even one year. So this is where I then come and set my parameters for the various rooms that I've created. So you see that I have room one. The room is is it is um, how do you call it? it is closed. Okay. So I then come and assign my various parameters. So I want to set a time limit. That's okay. So you are going into this. We are going into uh, this this breakout section for five minutes. Okay, let's say two minutes. Okay, so that means that I want to set. Oh, I want them to be. Uh, I want them to go and discuss whatever thing that they want to discuss in a period of two minutes. Then I'll just do it. Then my settings is done because we, I want to give a proper name to the various room. Then what I will do is that I will then need to come and rename my room again because room one doesn't make sense. So because uh, in our department, so uh, the software department has a dev unit, so I'll just give my uh, my this room one as a dev unit room. Okay, then I'll quickly rename it. All right. Then I would also rename this one also to uh, workspace unit. Okay, quickly workspace unit. Let me quickly just do that quickly. Okay, so now now the various parameters have been set. So now the rest is that 
I need to then open open the room. So I will just open the room. Then once I, I open the room, then they can have access to it. So I am opening this room. Okay, so let's see what happens when I open the room quickly. Quickly, let's see where, what will happen. So I have opened the room. So quickly, you see that the room has been opened. Okay, so you see that Barbara is, is leaving. Okay, good. And all that. So you see that now all of them, they've now left the, the meeting to join their respective rooms. So I will share my other lesson. Okay. Then I'll just join breakout room. So I'll get a notification. So now in my room, for instance, uh, my personal account was in a room with Iravna and also Ubed. So you see now what is left is a, a conversation with uh, Iravna and Ubed. So as the landlord, okay, what I can do is that I can, I can give out uh, notifications that, oh, okay. Okay, so I can give out a uh, notification. So I want to give an announcement. Okay, so you have, um, okay, so you have one minute left. You have one minute left to round up. Okay, to round up. Okay. All right, so you have one minute left to round up quickly. Then I'll send a notification to them. Okay, so I will send a notification to them. And then let's see what will happen if I send a notification to them. So quickly, on my, on my, in my room, for instance, I am seeing this uh, notification here that I have one minute left to round up. Okay, so you see that this room will close in 30 minutes because I set the time for to, to this in two minutes. All right, then once that is done, okay. So then once that is done, so I have this, this room here and all that. So that means that I can also, uh, how do you call it? So now this is all my breakout room. So you see that I can, I can let them join in and all that. So if the time is up, then they can return. So now my breakout room is now closed. So now return. Then I'll just do, okay, we join the meeting. Then I can just rejoin back not to the meeting. So I'll just go back to the meeting. Then I'll keep admitting them. Okay, so so then I'll keep admitting them. Now the breakout room is very important because in a in a meeting or in a corporate environment, there's a need for you to let um, colleagues okay um, Jojo together or come back together in a meeting to just have a discussion and also come back. All right. Okay, so that is just that. So quickly, let me just touch on the, I think my time is almost up. Let me quickly round up, okay, with, with the, just the apps and services. Okay, so with the applications, we have various applications because it is it is also important that at least you, you work, okay, and then you have various applications together. Now, so that is why Microsoft has the, the, the App Store. So the way every, the way every, the way your devices have their own store, also the Microsoft Teams has their own store. So you can go there and go and pick any any application that you need. You can pick your various um, your various uh, services or the, the application that you have, like your planner and all that. You know, just for you to, you know, just for you to be quite productive. Because you cannot be quite productive if you keep searching between applications. So for you to be very quite productive, then what you do is that you, you you combine all the applications that you use. So you just combine them together and then you can just use them together in, in Microsoft Teams. So without uh, switching between applications. So that is just, just that. Um, is there any question? So that quickly I can just pick it up. Edmond, please, how many minutes do I have? Okay. So I think I have two minutes left. I will just use that two minutes to pick any questions. If there's any question. Okay, so is there any question? I'll use the two minutes to take a question quickly. All right. Okay, okay. so if none, then I'll just 
hand over to Edmond, our coordinator. Thank, Thank you very much. much, Carl, for a fantastic presentation. I think his final touch, which was on the breakout session, is really a very comfort um, function. Why? Because if you are having a year-end meeting, you could run the entire day, and if there is a need for some breakouts within focus groups, you just do that and they return back. So your whole year end meeting could still be run effectively on teams with all the breakout sessions all included. So that is a very great functionality. And um, if you are thinking about having a year end meeting, which is um, online because of COVID and all that, it will be a good tool for you. Thank you very much, Carl, once again. I'll quickly do this in two minutes. Like I said, we are keeping ourselves to some check. Um, our commitment with you is to have a strict one hour. So in the next two minutes, we'll be leaving the session. I think um, at the beginning of the session, I kept saying that the office versus goes a, a little bit uh, beyond this, the collaboration tools. And um, today, I want to quickly show you the limitless application that you could do. So um, we have the multi thread visitor log app, okay? And it could be several apps. Now we have more than 15 apps running on the M365. We have for Petty Cash, we have for Libra application, we have for Staff Appraisal. It's like I said, it is your one stop shop for your business process automation. So I'll quickly run you through it. I won't talk about us, I think you know us. So let me move you. This is the workflow. So instead of the pen and paper that we do at our front desk, you could automate it and uh, all within your M365. So what we've done is that we have, like you see, the multi-thread um, sign in and you have a QR code that you can still enter to say who, who they want to see in your organization. So it, whether you visited here before, yes or no. So just like any visitor log digital um, application, this is done on the m 2 s file, like we said. And the beautiful thing, I want to quickly run up. I don't want to keep you waiting too much. The beautiful thing with all this is that we've integrated the Power BI, which is a business intelligence tool. So you are able to look at the number of visitors that you've had, the average wait time, if it's of concern to you, and um, also how long they stayed in your building. All this within the Microsoft ecosystem. So if you are thinking of business process automation, think no further. Our advice, you don't do other investment into extra um, silo technologies. Just think about how you can harness the full benefit of this Microsoft 365 tool. Thank you very much for your participation. And like I said, I don't want to keep you beyond 10 minutes after the one hour we have uh, booked with you. So enjoy your day today and keep doing a lot with your Microsoft 365. So we meet again on the next fortnight on Tech Friday. It's bye for now.